All right, so my clicker wasn't working, so it took a little bit for me to start the video, but uh, today I'm going to be reviewing, I believe this is called the NECA Ultimate uh, Terminator from the first movie. So I really like this figure. It's got an extremely good likeness if the uh, light's kind of in the way. There, it's extremely good likeness feels good to move and it's got I like the clothes the how they feel and uh, all the accessories so for accessories you have two short haired versions with one missing the eye and the other is normal he doesn't have the eyebrows on either one and then you have swappable hands here. You've just got a punching fist. Here you got shooting hand and another shooting hand, which are different uh, based on how they grab the different guns. Different guns are this pistol, the big scope, a Uzi, and this shotgun. So, uh, my favorite head sculpt by far would be the long-haired, like how he first shows up. And, uh, I usually just keep the two gun fingers on him, shooting fingers. Oh, he also came with, and I don't know what I did with them, and they're real small, two scissors. And, I forgot about the coolest feature which I may have left there. Uh, oh, here, the swappable arm. So, I mean, it's not much you can do with it, but it looks really good with the, that's indent. That's like 3D, so it's, I mean, you'd expect it to be. But with the um, finger in this sort of motion, testing out the these things in here and the sleeves rolled up and it just joins in at the elbow right here so that's cool and it goes on his left arm so it's not too hard to get his arms and stuff off and back on his hands I have a little trouble with so that's how it looks on him and so yeah his hands and stuff are the only thing it's just like trying not to break the fingers so it's kind of hard to get them in because they're very permeable but here's the, sh holding the shotgun, then I believe the left hand is where you'd hold the pistol. It's a little small, smaller, so it's better for the smaller weapon. Uh, came with some pretty cool packaging. Need to, I should have unpinned that. But I've got it up on my wall there. It's just the poster. And then it opens like most NECA figures. To have the big box sort of packaging. And I found it at the flea market the other day actually. I'm eventually going to get the 2T2. The 2T2 um, figures. That uh, That's the T1000 and the other T800 with the minigun, I think it's a minigun, and the black, more iconic. I've got two, like, T3 mini statue sort of things over there. Um, he scales up quite nice with the wrestling figures. He's a little less beefy. It's Magnum TA for Ontex. Um... Here's Green Lantern with the DC. 
they're a little, he's a little small compared to him. And then the vision from the birth or line. So a lot bigger than this vision. And so it's a lot bigger than this Marvel Legend, although I thought it was sitting right in front of me. If you take like cable, which I might do a review on cable, I'm not sure. Um, if you take this cable, then he's they're about the same height, but this cable's kind of big. So it seems to be a little bigger than the Marvel Legends. Uh, I do kind of wish you'd take the jacket off of him. These arms are all one piece, and then this jacket is not... There's a little... Yeah, you can see where it dents there. Uh, on the jacket, he's got, like, a chain, like a real metal one, or I think it's real metal. It feels like that anyway, uh, which is kind of cool. Like, the boots and the legs, and... He does twist at the right one. That's not a good angle. But he does twist at the waist. I don't use that a lot. But uh, the head is just ball and socket. So you don't have any neck movement up here. But you have it at the base of his neck. So... The heads are a little bit hard to get on. But I haven't swapped them a lot, so. It's not as. Alright. Uh, that might be all the. Oh, that was all the way on. It doesn't really click. But, yeah, I can tell it's, it's on pretty good. So there's that. You get a little bit of blood on the neck. Too. But on the eye. Uh, I like that other T-800 sculpt that looks like this a little better. You can see, like, the eye and stuff. It kind of surprised me that this didn't come with sunglasses. And I should have grabbed them. Because over... Alright, I've got them right over here. Here I have some wrestling sunglasses. These went to a Kevin Nash. I got sort of, he, he was in his plastic thing, just the box. And they kind of flex a little around his head. But they aren't too bad looking. I think there's another pair I use that look better. It might have been Edges from the SummerSlam Elite, I believe. Here's the figure they actually go on. So, it might just be the glasses, because that's what they look like on the figure itself. Uh, that it should go on, that they are supposed to go on. And here, while I was over there, I grabbed a more medium size Marvel Legends. So, yeah, he... They're about the same height. He's bigger. Terminator's bigger than this Marvel Legend. Uh, but a lot of those NECA figures, I think they're actually 7-inch scale and not 6-inch scale. So, it should be bigger. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be. Um, So, you get good articulation throughout... And I believe this is an older figure. Not very old, but a definitely older. Uh, and again, I didn't find it in a store or anything. I just found it in a flea market with a bunch of other ones. In packaging, so he wasn't open or used, but uh, he wasn't, like, first-hand. I don't think. I don't think he was, anyway. So, a uh, very good figure. I would suggest it, suggest getting it, uh, so I think that's about all I have on this one. I do, I do like the shirt, 
how it looks in the pants and whatnot. Okay, now that's all I have on this figure. Uh, go to SouthAtlantaWrestling.com for more videos like this and on wrestling and on wrestling and food reviews by my dad stuff and I'll do comic book reviews and figure reviews. Anyway, that's it for me.